Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I'm going to transition the decor on my hutch from its Christmas decor to my winter decor. Now I'm going to try to incorporate a lot of the same elements that I already have on the hutch into a new look for the winter months. Now in the winter time, I like to use a simple black and white color scheme. I think it is very fresh and clean and traditional looking and it's sort of kind of what I crave in January and February. So hopefully today's video will help demonstrate how easy it is to use some of your favorite pieces and transition them from season to season without having to take everything down and start anew every single time you want to redecorate a space. A lot of times all that's needed is just to rearrange items remove a few things, add a few new seasonal items, and pretty soon you will have a very new, fresh looking display without a lot of effort, and you'll still be using a lot of your favorite pieces. So let's go ahead and get into this video and I'll show you what I mean. So here you can see how the hutch looks with all the greenery and Christmas bits and bobs removed, and it's looking a little plain. Starting the top left of the shelf, I removed one of my small terrines and then added two small plates with a black and white edging. The remaining terrine I centered in the middle of the plate. For the remaining top shelf, I thought it would look nice to mirror the display of the other side, so I removed two of my terrines added another pair of black and white plates, and centered the remaining terrain in the middle. I was satisfied with the look, so I moved on to the other shelf. On the set of shelves, I first removed a stack of books and replaced them with a clock I recently found while thrifting. On the opposite side, I removed the two small pitchers and replaced them with a stack of bowls. To the bowls, I added a homemade chicken wire cloche to add a touch of color to the shelf. I then stood back to reassess the two shelves. I decided the terrine on the left could use a little height, so I placed a small stack of plates underneath it and I like to look a little better this way. And then I added a small distressed dog as an accent piece. On the next set of shelves, I knew I wanted to keep the pair of terrines, but I wanted to add some of my accent color and to highlight the terrines a little more. So in order to do that, I stacked a distressed frame behind them. On the opposite shelf, I added a stand with a pretty black and white floral print plate, but I wasn't crazy about how it looked with the large terrine, so I decided to remove the terrine. I replaced the large terrine with two small options instead. This was much more pleasing to my eye, however I thought a small stack of plates under the outside terrain would help blend all three items together on the shelf a little better, and I was pleased with the look. I thought the shelf above needed a little something more to round it out, so I added a small pitcher back into the mix and I liked it a lot better. Moving down to the last area of the hutch, you can see the remaining five items are removed from the original arrangement. I didn't think at this point that I would reuse any of the items, so I moved them out of the way in order to decorate the remaining spot on the hutch. This last area is rather large, so I started decorating it by leaning a chalkboard in the back, and in front I placed a large oversized mixing bowl. To the bowl, I added a trio of flameless candles 
to give the hutch a pretty glow at night. So there you go, that is how I transitioned my hutch from my Christmas to my winter decor. I love how it has turned out. I like the pops of black on the white hutch with all the white dishes. I just think it looks very beautiful. I know that it's a very simple, um, sort of sparse design, but that's sort of what I'm craving at the time being. Here's my newly styled hutch. I really am, am enjoying the new look. I know it is very simplistic, but that is kind of what I'm craving right now. And I could add a few more layers to it or do whatever I wanted to it. But the more I added, the more I didn't like it. So I just kind of kept it the way it was, kind of bare bones. And that's kind of what I am liking. And I know that that basket down in the, in the corner of the hutch it's not exactly pretty, but it is functional and something that keeps me from going insane with all the stuff. Well, the basket itself matches, but the stuff inside of it does not match. But you know what? This is real life, so this, this is what I need to do in order to not go insane because that area is such a hot spot for just getting things dumped on it. So with that basket there, I can just scoop things up and throw it into the basket and deal with it later at another time. So it makes it a very handy thing to have there. So that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you stopping by. And let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And I would love to know how what you think of this video. And I will talk to you again very soon. Bye now.